This is headline news on TOS TV. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has said insurgents would have declared an Islamic state in Nigeria if not for decisive actions taken by President Buhari. Armed bandits have killed a member of the Kaduna State House of Assembly, Rilwan Ngadagao, along the Kaduna Zaria Highway. According to reports, Gadagao was killed on Monday night by the assailants who attacked travelers along the road. His lifeless body was later discovered on Wednesday morning. South Africa's High Court has ordered former President Jacob Zuma to return to jail after setting aside a decision to release him on medical parole. 33-year-old Argentina and Barcelona star Sergio Aguero has announced his retirement from football just over a month after he was diagnosed with a heart condition. The United Kingdom has removed Nigeria and 10 other African countries from its travel red list. The UK Health Secretary said the Omicron had spread so widely that the bans are now less effective. The state security service has vowed to crush bandits and other groups causing insecurity in Nigeria, saying the bandits had crossed the red line and as such would face the consequences. Dozens of firefighters managed to extinguish a fire that ripped through Hong Kong's Wall Street Center and left more than a dozen injured. Over 1,200 people have been rescued from the building. French military forces have left Timbuktu nine years after they helped Malian troops recapture the city from Islamist insurgents. France is gradually reducing its counter-insurgency operation in northern Mali, despite a continuing threat from jihadists. That's TOS Headline News. For more, follow the details displayed on your screen.